Uh, part four, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? I'm joined by Matt from London. He's uh, a cabbie. How are you doing, Matt? Right, you were asking about uh, Daniel Dubar and Joe Joyce. I think that uh, Joe Joyce walks him down myself. No, no, I don't think it did. Because if that goes ahead right as July 11th, why can't Mick Whale's shows be on in July? Why why would they have professional fighting in July but they can't have amateur shows? I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Yeah, that's true. Because it, well, it won't be fair for others, would it? I mean, if they started playing Division 2 football now... Well, why uh, why can't they do it Premier League? What's the difference? I know, there's Frank Leach's point where he just like, look, I, I, I've got to do this big bit of hit and just put something on for the fans, I mean... I don't know, but Frank Warren is in a bit of a tight spot because he was banking on that fight, wasn't he? Yeah, he's banking on that fight and he's banking on the ball winning because if the ball, if the ball loses, because obviously he's got Joyce, but he's not, he's not as involved with Joyce yeah. as, um, as he is the ball, do you know what I mean? He's bought the ball through, and he's just signed the ball to a five-year contract. I just, I just signed people to a five-year contract. Well, he did it with really Robin Reed, didn't he? He did it with Robin Reed, didn't he, Frank? Like, I don't get out of board, I'm not just saying, look, three years, three years, no private deals. It might be a promotional deal, though. It's beyond, it's, it's beyond me how the ball don't get involved with stuff like that, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, but... Um, have you seen the latest on Scott Fitzgerald, have you? Plus, have I seen the what? The latest on Scott Fitzgerald, have you, getting nicked yesterday, getting what's arrested he got, and... What's he got nicked for? Domestic, uh, domestic uh, abuse with his partner. Some photos going everywhere, and um, if you look at his Instagram stories, mate, he's losing the plot. Yeah, he's. Uh, he's just come out of the Sporting Charles Clinic, isn't he? What do you think about that? Is that like Tony Adams Clinic? Yeah. Do you know what? I like Scott Fitzgerald because he smashed Fowler up, didn't he? Like one of you are, he's like, he's like one of us in Yeah, 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 yeah. I like him, I like him. I hope he I hope he, he didn't do it, he's innocent. Free Scott Fitzgerald. She 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 drove him to it. Community service for Scott Fitzgerald. Don't send him to jail, we love Fitzy. Team Fitzy <laughs> Well, let me tell you this, right? I'm not going to go too deep, but I've heard that people can say, yeah, Porky, you can party. I, I go, I go skeggy down on once a year, like fancy dress and that, walk around with ar orange orange boiler suits on with arrows on, you know, like I'm in death row. We go to skeggy once a year, right? Well, I've, I've been with my pals and we get uh, proper off our trolleys Friday till Monday, yeah? But I've heard that's just a warm-up for Fitzy. <laughs> Hey. I think it, I think it goes to show you that what it, the, the reason why he ain't active, and I think they just want to. Uh, I think Max will probably want to cash him out now. And, yeah, he'll and, be fighting uh, Charlo or something, won't he? What's that? He'll be fed to Charlo's or something, won't he? Even he, even one of Eddie's other fighters. Oh, right. One of his other 154s that he's got in, or something like that, or something like that, to try and feed him to him if he beats yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because obviously, he's not, um, he's just not, obviously, he's not living right outside the ring, is he? So, he's um, walking about in his fits of 14 stone. Yeah, if we, you see pictures of him all fat, and yeah, he shouldn't be a 14 stone, should he? 
Fitzy, sort your head out. We love you. Team Fitzy! <laughs> Tip Fitzy is the hardcore's hardcore, like Dale Nichols. He's hardcore like Dale yeah. Nichols, who don't pick his phone up, do you, Dale? <laughs> yeah, well, he lives that around that way, doesn't he? Dale. Where's he from? Dale's a uh, brummy, isn't he? He's a uh, Wolver Wolverhampton down that way, I think. Oh, I forgot, yeah, Preston. Fitzy's of a Preston, isn't he, Fitzy? Yeah, sorry. I think they were talking about doing that fight at uh, the Fowlery match at, uh, at Preston Football Ground, weren't they, I think? So. Who wants to see that again, though? Yeah, I thought we'd be fairly comfortably. Yeah, they, they always have to get two fights out, don't they? I mean, Dennis got three yeah. fights out at Clinton Woods, Glen Johnson. They just like to milk it and prolong it, don't they? If they've earned off one fight, they'll think, well, we might as well have that money again. It was a good fight. <laughs> To be, to, let's be honest, Cheeseman probably deserves a rematch more. Yeah, than more than Fowler. Does. Yeah, I think I think he's been I think he's being shafted a bit. Yeah, Cheeseman's Cheeseman. been, Cheeseman's had it rough, hasn't he, with judges? Yeah, yes, he he, he's had it rough. I, I don't think they care about him, do they, at Matcham, Cheeseman? I don't care about a lot of fighters, do they really? When once you get a loss, there they're not interested in you, are they? Unless you've got that, unless you're, unless you're a ticket seller or a big name. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, obviously Joshua, you could have three losses, mate. It'd still be, it'd still be the main man over there. But once you start becoming less of it, we see, we see Cowie Five get bad last month. We see what happens to him now, and um, because he's not really a big name, is he? No, he's he fuck, well, man. He's small fry, isn't he? Pardon. Carl Yaffa is a little tadpole. Yeah, but he's not in a glamorous division, and that world, that, the world champion status was the one thing that was keeping him sort of relevant, do you know what I mean? Yeah. But nah, he's not without a belt, he's just coming off a knockout loss. We see, we see if Mesh really want to build him up. Yeah, 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 I suppose, yeah. Yeah, you know, uh, Charlie Edwards is a free agent as well. See where he goes. I think he's a talented kid. Charlie Edwards, yeah. I think he, I think he's dull, in mate. I think he's dull. He's got good skills. You've got to appreciate his skills, but he's not obviously he's not a massive puncher, is he? So feather duster man, isn't he? Yeah. Feather duster man, but uh, yeah, it's uh, exciting times ahead. Exciting times ahead. This is why we love this sport so much, Johnny. Would you um? Would you see? Would you? What fights do you want to see, Russ? What, what sticks out to you? What, what excites you as a fan? Tyson Fury against Joshua at Old Trafford on a Frank Warren does this, show. Does it happen over here? No, I don't think it does. The, the, they're that greedy. Tyson and Joshua are that greedy. They'd do it in Saudi, wouldn't they? What do you think the Saudis are paying for that sort of thing, Ross? 200 million. You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, all day long. 200 million for a two fight deal. What's the return in Saudi as well? You what? The return in the, the rematch in yeah, Saudi. Yeah, as yeah, yeah. Well. They'll just go out with money as another to look. Who are you to question a, a, our fighter sets his family up? But come on, Tyson and uh, Joshua are both worth probably 60 mil and 150 mil, aren't they? So setting the families up, they're set up for life, aren't they? What are we doing setting up generations and generations and generations? The greatest British fight of all time in 150 years of boxing is going to be in Saudi Arabia where they, where they throw gay people off buildings and cut people's fingers off for stealing food and hands off for stealing money or stuff. But it's okay to uh, put Fury against Joshua out there because it lines Eddie Earn and Frank Warren's pockets. No, 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 no. I, I, I'd watch it on pay-per-view, but I won't... I can't condone it. It's got to be in England at Wembley, that, hasn't it? It's a, Wem it's a Wembley or an Old Trafford fight. Yeah, Wembley or Old no, Trafford. Wembley or Old Trafford, nothing, not in the Midlands or anything like 
it's a, it's a London or Manchester fight in one of them stadiums. And, you know what um, I mean? So yeah. I don't, I don't. Uh, it's greed, isn't it? It's greed, pure greed. That's all it is. Pure fucking yeah. greed, mate. Pure fucking greed. If that greed. happens, which probably will happen next year, if that happens, it will, it, like I said, it, it, it's a next year, it's a 2021 fight. You'll have all the boxing media just asking the same old questions, but you'll get the mainstream media with the ITVs and that asking the proper questions, Russ. Yeah, what you, you want, yeah. They don't care. They don't, they're all the ITV, BBC, they don't, if they're not associated with boxing. They, they won't care. They won't get access though, do they? Look, look do you, listen, let me tell you this, right? I know certain promoters, I'm not going to mention the name, and when we're at shows, he'll go, this person will go to me, you know, let's swerve him over there, he always puts me on spot. These people, like Eddie Earn, right, they have their favourites who they know are going to tickle their arseholes. It's called arsehole tickling, right? Coogan, right, don't ask Eddie Hearn about stub up. He don't ask him about all sorts of topics. Why not? They're not going to say, Eddie, even though you flew me out here and put me in an hotel, do you feel bad about putting boxing on in Saudi where they kill people? They're not going to ask him that. They're just going to be like, thank you very much, Mr. Eastwood. That's all they're going to say to him. Thank you very much, Mr. Eastwood. That's all they'll do, mate. They'll just be humble. And they'll just carry on and, and, hey, listen, what do you think to this? What do you think to the video that Terry put out yesterday? About about yeah. them with numbers and all that. I put it on my channel this morning, and I for Terry. It's, a, it's, it's spot on. It's, it's spot on. And if it, you know, you, you, you have a look at the numbers, what they're doing, and then what numbers are normal normally out there when the land when the boxing landscape is flowing yeah i mean more questions more a lot of questions should be asked about that and it's rightfully so it's not it's saying that terry spoke before about it, you know i mean a shout out to terry as well because he listen he calls it how he is and calls it spot on boss but how, how, how is how are the numbers one minute there one thing then one minute, when everyone's got more time on their hands, you know what I mean, more people are tuning into these channels, and then all suddenly they're slumped. Because they don't want to buy any it views. Zero, it makes zero sense. They're not going to dip into the money to buy views in, a, in an uncertain era, are they? No, of course they're not. Because the gravy train's gone and they're all scrambling for cover now. Now, Coogan and Rob Tebbert, I know you're listening because I've texted you this morning, right? Listen to this. If you're not happy with my video that I put out, what Terry said, get on the phone to me and I'll put you on this camera like I'm doing with Matt now. And I've got 15 questions here for you both. And I've got screenshots from analytics and all sorts of stuff. I'm prepared. So if you're innocent, come on my fucking channel and, sh and say to me, Porky, you're fucking out of order, you and Terry. Well, it was Terry who did the video because he's the brains. I'm the fucking front, aren't I? Come on my channel and answer these questions. If it's a load of bollocks. But it ain't, is it? They're caught out, aren't they? And they're scrambling for cover. And you're going to see a few people fall by the wayside. Because nowadays, anybody can get a fucking camera, can't they? And turn up at a boxing event. I'm a Jano, I'm a Jano. What a load of bollocks. But who cares? <laughs> I'm on a roll yeah, today, I mean, aren't I? I'm, I'm just scrolling, I'm just scrolling through IFL now, and listen, Coon and Cassius is a class act, mate. It, it, He's a good it, interviewer, it, isn't he? So's that Rob, the good interviewers. That Rob's a bit yeah. more polished than Coogan on the boxing, but Coogan draws it out of you, but the blinded by fucking money. It's like, oh, fucking unbelievable. I mean, you know, I had this an Eddie Earn interview, Eddie Earn Warren in Instagram live, yeah, do 52k, but then he normally does three, four hundred k in the same amount of time. There you go. Why, why, why is that? And I'm doing more views than ever now when mine go out over the first six hours. So what, 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 what yeah. what's why is why are they not doing it? Cause they fucking don't buy any. Cause they've got no coming in. <laughs> yeah, I mean. 
we've got Dave Allen's a big name, he does views, yeah? How many belts has Dave Allen won? <laughs> one zip, what's he, what's he won a Commonwealth title? No. Is it, no, he ain't won a Commonwealth, is he? He's not even, he's not even won a Southern area, is he? No, uh, Central area. Not Southern area, no, not a, was it a Central area right there? Central area. Is, is Dave Allen's got as many belts around his waist as fucking me, and that is zero. That's it. <laughs> Where do you see Dave Allen going when he when boxing returns, Russ? What do you, what do you just think he's going to get? Used. I see him being bit. used. I see him being used. We've got a man here, right, who was a tough kid, right, and he's wasted his talents. That's the bottom line. I see him being bladdered and knocked about for financial gain for other people. Probably MTK and the people around him. He's signed me MTK. For starters, if you were a manager and you cared about your fighter, you'd make sure that he gets a good trainer and is in shape, and in it. But how many times have we heard that Dave Allen's in the Last Chance Saloon? How many times has he been in more saloons than fucking John Wayne and Wyatt? Yeah, and he's not. Um, he's an, he's what's he twenty six, twenty seven? Where old's he now? Twenty eight. Twenty eight. But he's an old twenty. Look at. He's an old 20. He's a 34, mate, in, in, in boxing punches to head. Boxing years, yeah. He's got boxing more years. miles on clock than Big Pricey. Well, probably it's about the same, that. actually. That's a bit harsh, that, on uh, Dave, actually. And David Price beat him up every second of every round for 10 rounds. And what do we all think about David Price? The hair to the fucking throne. <laughs> Yeah. Well, yeah, would you, would he beat Dubois? Mm, no, he would There you go. Dubois. And what level would you say Dubois is? <sighs> Dubois never won a belt, has he, above British European level? level. I'd say he's European level. Yeah, but he ain't got a European belt, has he? No. no so he's a British title. He's, he's a British title winner, isn't he? Right? So he's British level. Huey Fury won a British title. He's British level. He's Huey Euro level. Question mark. He needs a European title, doesn't he? Yeah, he does need a European title. I think Joy, uh, Joyce and Dubois fight is for the European title. Well, so I might be wrong on that. Don't quote us. But I think that was going to be... Because Joyce was meant to fight uh, Hook for it. And Hook is not a European level fighter no more. But... Especially at heavyweight, but that fight was meant to be for that fight. Obviously, got called off because Joyce and Dubois was going to be at the end. So I think that's for the European title now. Yeah. So I mean, Joyce has got okay, good, fairly good wins. He's got he's got a lot of, he's got Jennings on his win, which ain't which is a fair enough win. So if Joy if Dubois could beat him, then I'd say Dubois was like. Fringe world level, maybe coming up, maybe European level. Listen, Huey Fury on his day, right, turns people on their head in that gym who are, who are, world, who are world level on the day. So, getting back to what level is that? Well, I don't think we know what level you is at until he gets no. tested, do we? No, um, nor, we, nor do we. Dubois. Do we know about Dubois or yeah. Joyce fully yet? Because no, not been tested, none of them have they? Not been tested. Huey's never been dropped. The bar's not been dropped. And Joe Joyce has not been dropped. They've not been to the well because they've been matched correctly. Or I don't know. I mean, they've got to be matched in fights where they're not favourite or it's not a 50 50. These people, the people behind Huey, the bar, and Joyce, right? The people behind them three fighters there have got to put them where they're out of the comfort zone. You've got to be took out of your comfort zone. AJ Hobson once said to me, Russ, you've got to be took out of your comfort zone in life before you can move forward. Dennis always says that as well. And that happens in boxing. You've got to be took out of your comfort zone. If you took out your comfort zone, you can find out what you're about. Clinton Woods fought Crawford Ashley, didn't he? He got took out his comfort zone, didn't he? By the biggest puncher in division at the time. The guy, Joe Calzaghi, didn't want to go near Crawford Ashley. Massive six foot four puncher. Massive, but struggled at weight. You've got to come out of that comfort zone, mate. That's what I think, anyway. 
go to a few, go get get around and get get sparring, get sparring other people and uh, yeah. go to other people's gyms or fly around the world and do do a bit and get your experience up. Yeah, that's, that's chill, mate. That's what you've got to so, do. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, that again, Russ, I think I lost you there. Sorry, I just I said that's true. You've got to be took out of your comfort zone. You've got it. you. We could do we going abroad sparring, uh, and sparring some really top guys. Maybe going to America, but his dad can't go to America, can he? So maybe they could arrange something in Canada. But like I said, it's not for me to say what 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 Peter should be doing with Yui. But no. I want to see Yui in some proper fights now. That's what I want. I want to see him tested. Yeah, he got tested against Povetkin, but he got all man, didn't he, a little bit? He had his moments, yeah, didn't he, but... Need to, um... Need to... Need to... Say one more. Depends, it depends. I'd say one more. And then maybe not chuck him in again, but just gradually... Not gradually step him up, but... Get him to that European level... And that where it's not a complete walkover where he's going to be asked questions and he's got to solve he's got to solve them problems. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he might he might it, the, the, the thing is with him, with him is that he's probably run before he's walked compared to the opponents he's been in with. Yeah. And maybe just wasn't quite ready for that. But you know you got younger people coming up. You know what I mean? It, like like the Dubois of this world and other pe other fighters like that the yokers who are, who are younger and they're chucking them in now you know yeah so it, it, get, it comes to a point now where you know they might it might fall down to pecking order depending where you're at promotionally and who you're with so yeah yeah you're right mate yeah you're right you're very I right and with the bra as well the, the bra now is Frank's if the bra wins and does okay on pay-per-view he will be on pay-per-view for the foreseeable future do you know what I mean and that's where Frank will earn the majority of his income that's why it's so keen for him to win that fight yeah 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 you know cause he can't just can't just rely on Tyson Fury because Tyson, Tyson just can do anything he likes you know what I mean he might just turn around in a few fights so I'm gone I'm off Tyson but might turn mind. around in six months to Frank Warren and say fuck off yeah. It, it, Tyson's got that much money now, he's untouchable. He might just tell Frank to piss what's off. He, what's, he got two, what's he got two fights left now with, with uh, Bob Tommy. Allen? Yeah, and that'll yeah. be with Frank as well, yeah? Frank's still promoting him, yeah? Frank's hanging on for dear life to Tyson's yeah. ta tail, co coattails. Hanging on for dear life, aren't you, Frank? Your weapon. I mean, he comes over here and does a fight. Or, or goes to Saudi and does a fight. Does does a fight. He doesn't really need Frank Warren, does he? Really? No. He can promote it himself or MTK to co-promote it. Yeah, they could do. Yeah, they could do, mate. You're right. They could do. But I mean, it's, the uh, logic in it. I mean, why pay someone when why pay someone X amount of money when you don't need to pay an X amount of money? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah, it's uh, uh, exciting times when, ahead. I just well, just a few more things. When you see Spence call for that, then I just you never see it happening. I don't see that happening, mate. I don't. I don't think they want to risk them, risk them doing that. They want to keep them apart, won't they? Because they're undefeated, aren't they? That's, do you know what? If that uh, that does happen, that's such a shame because that is the, that's probably the best fight in boxing for, for us our cause anyway. Yeah, uh, that's a fight. That's a fight I'll start at four, five o'clock in the morning. I'd even consider going over to America and watching that one live because, yeah. in my opinion, that's a special fight. The thing with that fight is this, right? What damage has uh, happened to Errol Spence after his car crash? <coughs> yes, a lot of questions to be asked. Do you know what I mean? A lot of questions to be asked now, isn't there, yeah. William? Yeah. Yeah, the thing, I think, I think the um, the main issue as well is that Crawford's get Crawford's thirty three now. Do you know what I mean? He's starting to get on a bit. Yeah, yeah, he is. Yeah. And, but, and uh, I don't 
don't see Spence being a world away for too much longer. I think he's he's big, he's massive, he's huge at the weight, isn't he? He's, he's bigger than Kel Brook at the weight, isn't he? I know Kel Brook can't really make 47 properly, he says he can, but he can't. He's not, not really properly, you know, so I don't see Spence lasting too much longer at... Yeah, I think he'd be a light middleweight before you know it. Kel Brook will never fight again, in my opinion. Who? Kel Brook will never fight again, in my opinion. No, it's a, it's a waste, isn't it? It's a complete waste. Massive waste. Massive waste. I don't think, I don't think there's enough money in a Liam Smith fight. Not that I want to see it anyway. Oh, who I cares about Liam's, Liam Smith against Kel Brook? Who cares? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no one cares, but... I mean, there's no one at 54, is there, for No. Him. What happened to Kel Brook being a beast at 160, what Eddie Hearn was telling everybody? He's a beast at 160. Well, what what happened to why did he fight at 160? Nah, he, 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 Look at the size of some of them middleweights. He, they're too big. Too big for him. I'll leave you with this, right? You know when Golovkin fought Kel Brook? Right? Kel Brook were a welterweight fighting the, the killer middleweight, wasn't he? Golovkin, yeah? yeah? 20 defences. At the time, he'd had 17 defences, wasn't he? And 17 knockouts. He were a killer. We agree on that, don't we? Yeah. So you've got this killer middleweight, and then you've got a welterweight, which is below light middle. So he steps up two weight divisions, right, to fight Golovkin. If that would have been Paul Malignaggio or Manny Pacquiao, right... What would we have said? We'd have said it was suicide, yeah. wouldn't we? Yeah. But we had Eddie Hearn drowning out anybody doing interview after interview after interview, drowning everybody out, shouting, Kel's a beast, he's really a light heavyweight. All the knackers that were spoke and everything that I said come true. What happened when he got in ring? Dominic Ingle were holding towel from round four onwards. He threw the tap that he in the fifth round to save him. He had one side of his face smashed, his eye socket, the other side of the face were badly fractured and Errol Spence finished that other side off, didn't he, in his next fight. So who's to blame for Kel Brook? Is it Dominic Ingle, is it Kel Brook or is it Kel Brook's dad? Or is it Kel Brook himself? Who's to blame? I think, I think everyone think everyone deserves blame and why did why did they do it what's the common denominator pay-per-view money right yep pay-per-view money they knew they were never going to get the calm fight which they've never got they did it they thought you know what we'll take this money now we've always got that belt pay-per-view money they did it they got a kid smashed up nearly got him blinded and now look he's running riot in Sheffield around Sheffield 14 stone you know what I mean? He's done. He's done, Kel Brook. Done. They're to blame. So when they get up in the morning, you, fucking Dominic Ingle, big prick that you are, big useless doss of steroid head, when you get up in the morning, Dominic Ingle, look in that mirror before you start flexing, fucking white flex wheeler, and ask yourself, did you do him justice? Because you've never had a fucking fight in your fucking life. Eddie Hearn, you've never had a fight in your fucking life. And Kel Brook's stepdad, you've never had a fight in your fucking life. But you all got fucking paid and ruined one of my favourite fighters, you fucking no good cons. Sorry about that. Do you know what the sad thing is though? He could have he could have saw, he could have gone he could have gone to America, possibly signed with a PBC and that, and he could have probably got Paid maybe what? what? Two mil a fight, three mil a fight. He'd have got paid well, yeah, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, paid well over there fighting people with his natural weight, Russ. Yeah, people knocking people about for three million a yeah. But we want to see yeah. great fights, but we don't want to see kids get injured, do we? So, that's no, about listen, it. Listen, Brook versus Spence for the first six rounds was a, it was a good entertaining 